Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Insanity's Blade, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, it doesn't look like we can revisit any levels in the game, but maybe we'll be able to later. For now, why don't we go check out this one? In the cave ruins, there is a hidden passage. The orcs have taken my family hostage. Save them, please. They hold the key to breaking the spell which traps us to this isle. Oh, there they are. Alright, I will save them now. Okay, so officially these guys are just orcs. Now, this will be a problem if you try to grab them when there's like more than one, and I save them. Good job. Oh. I just grabbed a giant eye? That was weird. Um, I guess we're gonna go through the skies now. Even the skies were littered with demons and undead, belching forth vomit and fire. Thurston and Finn continued their journey through the darkened sky, dodging and weaving their beasts through an endless slot of onslaught of horror. And that was all there was to this intro. Oh, there's a flying level! Okay, so I'm the dragon now. Well, I'm still Thurston, but I'm riding the dragon. What does the, uh, eye even do? I have no idea. But maybe we'll find out. Okay, I just noticed my attacks are not that strong. And these, uh, dragons over here are very annoying to fight. I don't know what caused that lightning there. Do I have a flamethrower attack the whole time? Okay, so the flamethrower will deal with these dragons faster. And I have very little health now. Is there a way to get health as a dragon? If not, I'm very concerned for my chances of survival. Maybe for like how many enemies I kill, I can use get a lightning spell that'll just kill all enemies instantly. Okay, so if you lose a life here, you get to continue where you left off. That's why it's a good idea to have like a ton of lives for the flying parts. Because you might end up needing them all. Yeah, you, you move so slow while in a, on a dragon, so the spears are very hard to dodge. I can see this uh, part of gameplay not being that good. Oh, there's a boss. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, it attacks endlessly when it flies up. At least it takes damage pretty fast. I just have to watch its uh, swimming pattern and then dodge the orbs. You know what? That doesn't seem that difficult. I don't know if flying in the water will kill you. I'd rather not find out. Guys, is it dead already? <laughs> The mammoth undead sea monstrosity exploded into great mounds of seawater and maggot pustules, which hit both the warriors and their flying servants. Ooh, the stench offends even the nostrils of the highest gods, exclaimed Finn. Suck it up, old man, Thurston blurted. We will undoubtedly smell more offensive things than this. Mostly on the internet. I mean, in the distance, they could see the great city that Thurston once protected with his life. A great thick cloud had settled in and there were no distant sounds of city life. Ooh, spoopy. Oh, we're on chapter two already. Okay, you cannot revisit a chapter or until maybe beating the game, but we're on this island now. Oh, there's an optional quest that we can do. Well, let me save first, and we'll go check this place out. Back in the city, we did not get all of our wares. There's a fine mason and a storage crate near the edge of town. You are welcome to it. Hmm. 
Alright, well, when I go to the city, I'll go look for some uh, storage crates and be about my merry way. As they land, the once great dragons begin to crumble. The flight had been too much for them to handle. They came crashing down to the middle of a city street that reeked of decay. The plague had taken its toll. There was not a single soul in sight except the dead that arose to greet the heroes. Well, it's nice of them to say hi. Would have been very rude if they just left us there. So, the bulk of this game pretty much has zombies. Oh, dear god, it was a Plague Knight from Shovel Knight ready to attack me. Only he's just wearing a hat. Good for him, I suppose. Oh, I thought I could just pick up a, an arm from that corpse. I guess not. Oh, it's these zombies that'll try to leap up at ya. I'll remember that for next time. Oh god, there's lots of decaying bodies everywhere. Clearly this plague has been very nasty. It doesn't seem like everybody here is a zombie. I mean, that guy that looks dressed up like the Undertaker just came at me a full force. Probably not even a zombie at all. Also, we're at level 6 now. So we're able to do extra damage. It seems like there should be something down here. Like, be able to drop down. But it doesn't seem like we're able to. I don't know what this eyeball is gonna do. But hopefully it does some good things for us. It doesn't look like it's a passive upgrade of any kind. Ah, I can't believe that thing still hit me. Okay, I'm kind of worried if I drop down that, yeah, that was gonna happen. Hopefully I can pick up some extra lives outside of having to purchase them. Right now, I'm not really in a good position, in terms of lives. What if I run into a boss that can really kill me so easily? Well, I'd be downright screwed. Oh, that, that guy, when he did that little barrel roll, almost uh, froze my game there. So that's a special ability, to give me a little sense of worry that I'd have to redo this whole episode, even though I saved midway through. That would not have been good at all. Or at least redo the whole level. I don't want to do that either. Okay, I have a metric shit ton of money. And I really like that. Just keep giving me some of that sweet cashish and I'll be happy. Well... Having to use uh, daggers all the time is much better than being on a dragon. Because I move so slow when I'm flying. Uh, I don't think I want that bread, but I'll take it anyway. Good old gluten ready to save my life. <laughs> level up again! Oh, I didn't think I was gonna gain two levels in one level, in one stage. That'd be a weird way to say that sentence. Gain two levels in one level. It's like, what would that even mean in context? <gasps> These must be one of the storage crates. Um, I should probably take a look in each of them. Just in case one of them has the, uh... What the hell is that guy doing? Just in case one of them happens to have the uh, mace that I'm looking for. That must be it right here! Oh. Okay, I guess I'm not getting the bread then. Zombies are kind of clipping through the ground. I don't think my daggers get extra damage from whatever weapon I have held out. But so far this mace is pretty good. If ever I get a chance to use it. Um, looks like we're going straight down. 
Is that a good thing? Some enemies are popping up through the walls. But apparently you can kill them before they get a chance to fully spawn. Okay. Whoa! Okay, you just materialized out of nowhere. I'll just spam the fire button, whatever it takes, to make sure that I don't die. And the elevator just goes into the unknown for some reason. Um, I guess I could get some extra HP. And an extra one up, why not? Now, I don't know if that gives you a permanent HP boost, or just like an extra hit. If it's just an extra hit, I mean, that's a waste of money. Boss time? No. Having made their way out of the decaying city, the heroes found themselves on a path towards an old dock. The monastery where the sage resided was located on an island in the middle of a subterranean lake. An old paddle boat was tied up to the dock. Abandoned. Thurston got in the boat, examining it for damage. Finn struggled to get on, pulling tightly to the sweet to the seat for comfort out of the out of his fear for water. Thurston chuckled to himself and began to paddle away towards the island. Doesn't even look that stable of a ride, if you ask me, but. I guess we're taking it. Is there another optional mission? Doesn't look like it. I guess we're going to the old boneyard. They can see the lights on the island through the thick fog. There may be someone that still be a breathing on that old on that rock, lad, said Finn, hopefully. Aye, dwarf. But if we've learned anything on this journey thus far, is to expect that which is unexpected. Thurston exhaled noisily. As they approached the island, they could see how right Thurston was. A massive graveyard surrounded the decrepit stone structure on all sides, and the space between the stones was littered with the risen dead. The monastery was on top of a great hill. "'Twill be an uphill battle, lad,' Finn said. "'Ah, we have a royal jester in our midst,' Thurston said mockingly. "'Arse!' Finn huffed under his breath. <laughs> oh god, they're gonna get, like, to bickering now. Well, to be fair, there's undead pretty much everywhere. Not just in a graveyard. Oh, Dampe from Ocarina of Time is here. Well, he's dead now. Wait, did I just kill an invisible enemy? Or maybe my eyes are deceiving me. Actually, he kind of looks like if Dampe and Triple H had a love child. You know, before Triple H cut his hair. Because he got that kind of beer thing on the go, too. Every time I see these zombies rise out of the ground like that, it does remind me of Ghosts and Goblins. Just cop popping out of the coffins and just get ready to attack you. What was that? Uh, there was no enemy there. There was nothing. That was an invisible enemy that killed me. So I looks like I did miss a weapon. I'll probably have to go back for it later. You know what it was? Apparently there are clouds that can hurt you. Like you know the clouds that are just going around. If you see one that's really white, it will attack you. That must have been what knocked me into midair. Because it looks like it keeps coming back every chance it could. I guess I'll have to be more careful with that as well. How is it that clouds explode into, like, uh, blood and guts? I don't understand. Everything has to bleed in this game. Oh, might as well get that too. I just wanted to make sure I got rid of that, uh, crossbow guy. Oh, I can- I'll just pick up the shovel! I'll just beat them up with a shovel, why not? It seems to be doing a little bit of extra damage. Compared to a mace. Now, explain that to me. 
But hey, let's just call a spade a spade. Yeah, I went there. Okay, just checking for more of them clouds. I haven't had this much of a struggle with a cloud since Smash 4, am I right? I mean, there was one guy that was pretty tough as Cloud, but he also beat Captain Falcon. Well, like, I can beat him, it's just that it's pretty even. I mean, Cloud actually is a good character in Smash, don't get me wrong. I usually prefer Yoshi or Bowser. Oh, I, I guess I have to do this. Whoa! Okay. That was kind of cheap. Let me grab that checkpoint for a safety sake. Doesn't seem there would be a reason to go that way. Whoa! Okay. Why couldn't I just, like, climb up that all the way? Yeah, I'll just grab another shovel, why not? This music is pretty good too. Can I go down? How do I go down? Oh, that's how. Um, I can't afford that either. Okay, as soon as I get money, I am gonna try to buy the five way. Oh. Ew! I, I don't want to be in this place. For some reason, like, going in here just unequip my base. Alright. Cool. Good to know. Man, there's like so many clouds. Hey, get over here. You need to die. Again. You need to die more than you've already died. Hopefully, if we run into a boss, that it doesn't kill me. Because if I run out of lives, I probably have to do this whole stage over. It might retain my experience and my money, but still, the point is, I don't want to go through this entire stage again. Unless I absolutely have to. Man, clouds really don't leave you alone in this level. As soon as one is ready to attack you, it's gonna keep going back and forth, back and forth until it dies. Okay, this part seems safe. Oh, there is a boss! Oh god, it's a giant ghost. With a big barrier of tombstones. He's gonna keep throwing them at me if it gets a chance. But I guess you can destroy them too. Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to get rid of the ghost fast. Because I see a spike wall! I never noticed that until now. Oh my god, we did it. That was stressful. I'm not getting that money, it's with god now. <laughs> oh, this must be the monastery itself. Is that a spike wall still going? I guess we'll never know. The heroes have defeated the devil caretaker, who had been blocking their path to the monastery. It was locked from the outside. Was there still any hope for the sage they have been searching for? I'm gonna assume yes, otherwise this game would be over. <laughs> oh, there's another quest to do? Okay, well we're not going in the monastery yet anyways, let's do it. When we fled the church to escape those evil monsters, I dropped my rosary in a hole by the shop. I hid the key to the church on the back of the cross. Please find it! In a hole by the shop, hid the key to the church on the back of a cross. Okay, uh, I guess I'll be more careful next time. Because apparently that is a thing. Okay, I'm gonna take
take my sweet ass time to make sure I don't get impaled by spikes. Oh god, Medusa heads are in this game too. Well, they're not really Medusa heads, but you know. They pretty much go in the exact same movement pattern. I'm just gonna take it patiently. Is this the end of the hole? Yes, I assume so. I'll just wait here where it's safe. <laughs> well, safe-ish. This is not exactly a safe area. have no invincibility time. Oh, I get I get to keep going. I gotta swear I had one life at this time and I still do. Got totally hosed by that enemy over there. And they keep spawning infinitely. So it's not like you just get a reprieve from them. I wanted to kill that guy for the extra experience. Don't think you get much from him though, unless you killed a lot of them. Oh great, zombies attack from the ground too. So I gotta worry about recoil as well. That's not going to make this level any fun. Oh my god, this spike traps can kill enemies too. So I'm not the only one that can be a victim of spikes in this game. Even the enemies are feeling the pain. I'm just going to take my sweet ass time. Because I don't want to die again, okay? this key. Oh god, there's another type of trap. I think it's safe if you duck. Yeah, it seems fine to me. Whew, almost backed into that too much. Okay. Spikes are actually a little too close. I think I could have made it if I just kept going. Okay, I'm safe here. Huh, that guy is not. Oh my god. Oh man, it's cutting it close. Literally. safe if I climb, even though that blade is pretty close. Okay, it looks like I am now. Good. Oh man, this, this side level, or, well, actually it's a mandatory mission, is pretty long. Oh dear. I don't like the looks of this stage. Like there's any enemies that are spawning here. Uh, uh. Okay, we gotta go. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, I think we're fine. Oh dear, we gotta take on a giant ass Shrek. Eventually, this thing will die. You mind if I can keep pushing it? Seems like the maze does the job. Like, if I just get my maze to hit him, he will be pushed back.
Maybe I have to push this guy all the way back. Nope, there's a wall. Okay, I just had to kill him. Alright. Is the key in here? I'm going to assume yes. Because we're able to get in here now. Um, I think now would be a good time to save and call it an episode, alright? So in the next part, we're gonna check out the, uh, what's this level called? Unholy Ground. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't know we could actually do this quest. I think we'll do that one. Uh, you'll actually just get a description of it. I saw one of those magic weapons in the church crypt guarded by monsters. We tried to get it, but we barely escaped with our lives. Maybe you will have more luck. I, I picture them saying the exact same thing at the same time. And it just looks so convoluted. Alright, so in the next part, we'll go see if we can get into the church crypt. Goodbye, everyone.